Hi everyone, it's Brigitta from Aqua Arcana and guys, you're probably thinking, why is always my hair so messy? It's because I don't use the hair dryer and every time I decide to do a reading, I want to take a shower. So that's what's happening. Okay, now, I was thinking, um, doing a reading about why is this person in your life so that it can clarify why certain things are happening, why this connection is like it is, etc, etc. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna give you three intuitive cards to pick from because i'm still on holiday and i don't have any stones with me right so pile number one let me try to adjust this that's for pile number one okay pile number two okay got it and pile number three and I will show you all of them together okay wait which way did that come out one two three okay so as a comparison guys that's pile number one pile number two and pile number three stop if you need some more time stop the video and I'll see you in timestamps Hi guys, whoever has chosen pile number one, a really interesting story. So I have pull cards already for you. Who I don't know where to start. I have a whole desk full of cards. Now, this person is in your life in order for you to take a leap of faith. So I can see that right now a lot of you, maybe you are, you are concentrated. Something about your home environment where you are something about the location where you are or where you're at in your life right now there is an idea that you came across um and whatever this idea is that you are really passionate about it okay that's something very close to your heart whatever it is for you as an idea guys and for a lot of you it's something to do with um domestic situation or moving somewhere location wise okay um not necessarily maybe you want to improve your home environment and there is someone or something we got in your home that is not serving you anymore and you might want to take a different direction whatever it means for you guys um this person is literally in your life to teach you how to move away from certain situations okay so this is someone who came into your life for a reason pile number one is really strong um it's like this person kind of sparked the sparked the clarity in your life okay and um there will be a time or there is a time right now where you will be deciding that you know what i feel like i'm be i'm getting a lot of confirmations from universe so you might see a lot of synchronicities guys okay you might see a lot of signs from from the universe and you're like i think i should take this leap of faith okay and um this person has made me realize so many things not only about myself but also about the spirituality and about how soul connections work and um this is someone who was pre-planned for you already pile number one and this person is going to um make an impact in your life where you guys will start loving the craft whatever your craft is the craft that you are interested in. This person can also change the direction you wanted to go. You thought maybe that you were going to end up doing one thing or being in one place. And this person came in and you're like, you know what? I have a completely new idea about this right now. I feel like I'm gonna start taking interest in this, you know? And then you start realizing that the more you take interest in this thing, the more you start kind of facing and loving yourself more where this will lead you to completely um, different path and ideas but this path will be more grounded and stable this person um the main thing here is they have 
sparked something that was hidden in you okay and now you realize oh my god maybe i did have to take her like not take a take a rest but um give myself some time in order to realize what it is that i want to do and then we also have the akasha card it says your guidance is divinely guided and you are very close with universe guys over here okay let me just focus that if you can see that person has already walked through these stairs and has already taken that you know um taking that direction so that's something that you have to do and this person is your guide basically in this lifetime they here in order to guide you to go kind of shift your life in a way um let me see what else you have three new beginnings here you have ace of wands you have ace of swords and ace of pentacles so for some of you this person has sparked an emotion kind of not emotional but um passionate interest in something for some of you this person has sparked that's where i'm leaning towards to a little bit more because of the pentacles i have next to me um this person has kind of adjusted how you want to go about your about your finances or career or interests that you are um it's kind of they have made you explore more where you have to research things you have to take interest in things and that might lead you to a completely different new beginning does it make sense i feel like i want to pull more cards but i'm not sure which deck okay steampunk is looking at me let's take that one This person is teaching you how to love as well. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the Magician. And I said, you know, regarding your career, Magician popped out. So, yeah. Okay. This person has made you realize how strong soul connections can be. Okay. Um, and um, you might see a lot of numbers 11 or numbers 8 and that's your confirmation uh this person is here in order to put you on a track where you're supposed to be on a soul level meaning why you came here on this planet and why i'm saying that is because of two of cups okay it says now i understand what's this idea was this idea be behind my existence okay and that's very strong pile number one you might feel this um really strong pull towards this uh person and uh, it's because you have known each other in the past life and you were someone who were helping each other out too you know when you were kind of helping each other um how to get inspired how to navigate navigate through life let's tune in a bit more into your past life uh, connection here I said right from the past six of cups here. So I was just clarifying as I go. Okay, in the past life, guys, uh, what I'm seeing here, we have seven of swords and jesters and six of cups. So one of you might have walked away from this other person, okay? There was, someone wasn't completely honest in the past life and you might see it in this lifetime as well, but it might be vice versa now, okay? um and someone got really disappointed and i'm getting this sense of and my heart just started aching uh the sense of you know what i trusted you so much but you kind of ruined my trust because of something that you have done and i hope that justice comes after you but um there is no need to feel like that in this lifetime forgiveness is the key pile number one uh because this was the lesson from your past life how not to trust uh, no that's not a word how not to put all yourself in the relationship because once someone breaks your heart or someone um, does something like um, let's say tricks you or um, be 
is dishonest with you, okay, that's when your world will start crumbling down. And that's something you have learned in a past life, how to kind of detach yourself from putting 100% in this other person because the key of um, loving another person is here, okay? So once you start, okay, I'm just gonna talk a bit about Osho. In o Osho says that, um, let me try to say it as closely as he said. He said relationship is false if you are in relationship because of because you want to cover up your loneliness, okay? And that relationship is never a true relationship. It's because you're not able to be alone. So that's something that you have learned in the past life. If you haven't and you are, you are here on this earth, put back, you know, again, learn your lesson again. How to... Um, not to put all your expectations on someone else. And you're quite doing it pretty well here, guys. I can see pile number one. You are someone who is very inspiring for other people too. And this person came into your life maybe at the time when it wasn't so good and you needed that extra kick and they're like, you know what, go back on track because you are someone who always has to go, go, go and find inspirations and little things in life. And that's something I really like about you, pile number one, because you are true inspiration for a lot of people, but maybe you do not understand that. Maybe, um, you know, us people, we don't say it uh, as much as we should. If someone has inspired you, just text them. If someone has taught you something, let them know. But because we are so closed off now, um, I feel like we do not really understand our external image. Does it make sense? We know how we are inside and that image is not always the same how people sees you, see you. And uh, someone telling you nice things like that, and maybe this person has, um, who has kind of changed the way you love yourself too, uh, it's really, really important. Let me see what else. I'm getting into this file. It's really interesting. Okay, what is why is this person in your life meaning that what is it that you have to let go of? What they teach in you in that sense? Some of you, if you have ever been in a third party situation, this person is teaching you how to um how to say, you know what, I'm not going to get involved unless uh, you are on your own. Unless I know that you are the only person and there is no third energy there. Would it be work? Would it be uh, another person? And that's something that you have to learn, guys. You have to let go of how, how not to get involved in the third party situations. And it can, be, it can mean many things. It's basically... Uh, keeping your values intact, keeping your ground. If you see that something is not vibing with you, let's say if someone's mother gets involved in uh, relationships constantly and it becomes really difficult, um, you have to talk to this person and say, hey, you know what, this is not working out for me. That's third energy too, right? And I just heard for some of you, this person is teaching you how to be uh, more mature or more serious. <laughs> yeah, and this person is teaching you how to understand that you are never alone. And I talked about this before, right? Where you, you will never get the sense of loneliness if you will... Um, if you will work with yourself and that's what people don't understand about me uh, sometimes when I'm seeing I'm going on solo holiday like right now or I'm, I need my time on my own is because I work on myself and that you will see there will become you'll get to the state where you will understand that I am so happy with my own company that those people coming in your life becomes like a, like a gift, like an addition to your already quality life, you know? So this card, Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold, right? But it's always, it's kind of in your head. It's not really because you can go in that church and open, you know, that door, the door is not far away, um, or knock on the window and it's saying you have to let go of feeling left out. Makes sense? 
why is this person here what is it that you have to embrace standing your own ground okay maybe some of you want to uh, suddenly started eating healthier or going to the gym so that's something that this person has inspired you so there are so many storylines guys pick whichever resonates i'm getting a lot of spiritual vibes here guys so this person definitely has inspired you in the way where you you start to take an interest more in spirituality which is really nice and I just heard the uh, historic buildings, maybe for some of you, you are taking interest not only in spirituality, but those monumental buildings, monasteries, um, Buddhas, maybe anything to do with that kind of vibe that I'm getting here. And this person is teaching you how to be more grounded. You know, and I keep getting that really ancient vibe here from this card and it's the wheel of fortune right um well if we take it like uh, what this person is kind of trying to make you understand why they are here in your life it can be that they have to um, they have to be around you in order for you to understand how lucky you are for some of you maybe this person is not as lucky in life they don't have as much where you look at them and you are like oh my god you know what i'm good actually i don't have so much drama so many problems in my life and you start appreciating your own life a bit more i keep getting you know martial arts so maybe some of you actually started going to the gym or doing something that is a physical activity of some sort. Um, this person, what they want to say is you need to stop fighting and these are the inner battles that you're dealing with. Okay, and you have to communicate clearly with people, but not as much. I also see this as how to fight your own battles in order for you, once you are in relationship, you are not bringing your inner storms to someone else's world okay and i will end it here pile number one let me know if it resonated if you are new welcome if you are my tribe love you as always bye for now hi pile number two people so i have already drew a card and I'm gonna draw some more because I'm very curious in every single reading. Now, I'm not sure where to start with because it's a whole storyline and I feel like I'm gonna be reading for five different scenarios in pile number two. So pick whichever situation resonates, okay? Now, there might be in your life, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it might be that you are being thrown at too many not too many, we can all handle difficulties, but um, more difficult situations than other people. And um, it's because you can handle it. And why, I don't know why I'm getting into this um, conversation right now, but it's about people who are stronger than other people they have more difficult tasks to resolve in like in this lifetime okay and that's what's happening to you you are being represented by a magician and the queen of wands so you are someone who is literally always who has a lot of ideas who's always um on the go uh, meaning that you want to do so much and sometimes you might not have you think that you might not have enough time and uh, people who are not as capable, not as strong, they do not have those really difficult life um, tests, let's say, right? And you are one of those other people where you might see that you might be changing locations uh, more often than other people or you did as you were when you were a child. So I do not see you having a very kind of stable boring life let's say where you were born in one place and you stayed there forever and nothing um, kind of exciting happened i see that you are going through some challenges in life right and this person is here 
to make you understand we have the ever unfolding rose and it says cracked open it's happening for you not to you to make you understand that things that are happening in your life are being thrown at you for a reason and this person as well and it's not always very fun you know these tests and oh i can just go on and on about these situations um just understand that you are being perfected by life you are being made to someone that is even higher up because you guys already have i feel like a lot of drive in you and this person is here in order for you sometimes <laughs> to take that step back and just give yourself time to relax because otherwise you might feel that your health is reflecting your lifestyle, okay? Whatever it would be, you're overworking, you're always on the go, you're not getting enough, enough sleep. And uh, this is something that you have to concentrate on because for pile number two, I was drawn to pull two oracle cards and for a reason, because this person is teaching you how to be more playful. And I feel like that's what kind of relationship this might be. A relationship of where this person brings you sunshine into the, your life, okay? Literally, I have the sun card here. That's why I'm saying that. And uh, this person wants you to... They, some of them, they do it unconsciously. Um, they make you explore world and you have the chariot next to the sunshine so they might have given you some kind of clarity which direction to go to they might have given you like a fresh breath of air where you are like oh my god okay that's that's where i want to be that's what i want to do and it's very much um these two piles are kind of talking about similar storyline and it's very when you're asking about why these people are in your life most of the time what i've noticed is that all of these people are your soul connections okay they come in your life for a reason from my intuitive deck i had the soul connection for pile number two and i have it for you guys and um, another thing here why this person is in your life they are here to make you understand what it is that you don't want in the relationship and it might be that you are sometimes fighting on you or you have in the past with this person where you are like, you know what, I don't like or your environment or I don't like the way um, you communicate with me. And it's something that you would have to stand your ground because I feel like regarding your, um, regarding your work and regarding your drive in life, you have like a bucket full of it you know but uh, when it comes to communication i see that sometimes that's something that you have to be working on and more like um communication and uh, collaboration with people whatever it would might it might mean to you maybe you are someone who um, was afraid of serious commitment or getting burned and this person is here to show you that relationship doesn't have to be that you know um rose glasses on and uh, just fun and games relationship can start from the friendship okay relationship can start uh, lightheartedly with this play card too you can be a really good friend but then it might lead you to somewhere else and it's not necessary that you have to be in a connection with this person to forever connection right to in order to learn that you usually learn things by difficulties you know being left out alone i have this card in pile number one as well um realizing that you're never alone if you have been drawn to pile number one take a look at it because i was talking about osho and how he talks about um loneliness and need for a relationship and that's something that i feel like a lot of people have to hear and uh you have to see you guys have a lot of passion to give and um, this passion <laughs> how, how should I put it for you guys you have a lot of drive in life as I said before and this person came into your life in order to show you how to navigate navigate that passion uh, where to put that passion and now right below the ace of wands what I have the six of swords and it's talking about you know moving towards calmer waters 
if you are in a place where you're not very happy about something that you might have this niggling feeling about you, about the whole situation where you're like I feel like there's a need for me to do this or that or to go here or there or to change something about my life this person came into your life in order to spark that idea okay the clouds became golden with the ace of wands right and the sun rays are golden too in the sun card in the corner over there sorry my light is not the best i have a ring light and it's very intense so oh and again in chariot look at the sky can you see the sky over there it's beautiful so this person has come to your life in order to make you understand how beautiful the world can be as simple as guys this person is also going to change your life in a way where but don't don't think that they are gonna come into your life and do it for you whatever I'm telling you now is your own actions as of you take inspiration from that person and you hear something from that person whatever they say and you go like okay that's the thing that's where I have to go that's what I have to do and um, this person is going to make you realize something about your career where you will be well off. You will not struggle with money if you are struggling now. Only if you listen to your own self and walk away from a job or from um, connection with someone else that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay, but it's more so talking about a job here, guys. You might have a connection in your workplace, meaning there is someone in your workplace where they are not the best for you or the job is not the best for you itself. It can be putting you down. You might be um, feeling depressed or ill because of stress, etc, etc. And this person somehow spark this idea in you where you're like you know what maybe i should walk away maybe there's something that they said because i am a magician you know i have everything that i need in order to make this happen i can change careers if i want to because i'm very capable to to do so you adapt very well pile number two you are someone if you will be thrown in the sea without life belt you would be able to make it out because of your head you would know what to do you would know not to panic you would know everything because of your life experiences okay i love you pile number two now um let me see what else i don't know why for some of you this person is in your life in order to <laughs> if just for those who are, who are going to resonate with this. If you uh, were not a um, pet or baby's lover, uh, let's say so, right? Uh, this person will make you... Will, okay, you have it within you. This person will drag it, drag it out of you. Drag that love for puppies or babies out of you. And it's something very beautiful where I feel like you might have been closed off for some of you guys before. And this person is very open and they are very open with their words and everything that they say or things that they do. And you are like, you know what? I have it in me, but I don't know why I have this repressed. Let me tune in a little bit more what it is that you have to let go of um what this person is teaching you okay and i feel like there is something a little bit deeper than we have talked about already i keep getting job you know what is you have to let go of location of workplace that's all I can say. For some of you, it can be that you are in commitment with someone else who is probably... Um, let me check. Let me check because I, I'm getting a couple of different messages. Okay, very interesting so for one part of you guys this person is teaching you whoever is in in relationship that is a little bit toxic for you this person is teaching you how to let go of that 
But for many of you guys, this person is teaching you how to hold on to the relationship that you already have because it's beautiful. And this person might be, if we're talking romantic, might be a temptation for you. But really what's happening here, by things that they do or things that they say or how they are, this person is teaching you how to appreciate what you have because what you have is really good, okay? Those who are in relationship, some of you might be married, okay? So take it as it resonates. Now for those, as I said before, who are in the workplace that is not very good for you, this person is uh, teaching you how to let go of it. Maybe the way they, they live their lives is a bit inspiring it's like inspiring for you and you take something from them where you like and i looked at the time it was 13 13 um for pile number two from the start of it right uh and it's number four right and we have number four one three and one three is four four right we have number four here where there's something about your foundation maybe there's something that you're holding on to tightly might be job or might be a relationship for some of you who are not in a good place okay so i hope that it has resonated for you guys pile number two let me know if it did uh those who are new welcome and those who are my tribe love you as always bye for now hi pile number three people so i have already pulled cards and we're gonna get into this right off the bat what i can tell you is that that person is a little bit for some of you frustrated with you Maybe they have tried to teach you something and I'm getting whining a lot. So maybe you are someone where this person has said something to you and they might have said it a couple of times, but you didn't listen and you still kept on going with your own truth. And this person maybe at one point decided to take a break from you or be a little bit distant in order for you to learn your own lesson. Okay um that's very strong here and i cannot stress this enough now let's get into this i'm gonna start with oracle it says uh stop overthinking keep facing your true north and overthinking is something that's coming through quite strongly here let me focus this um it seems like you have been uh, standing on that cliff or stone or I'm not sure what's that, but you've been standing there for a long time and you have been in this state where you're like, you know what, nothing is moving for me, nothing is happening for me, Knight of uh, Pentacles, right? This lowest moving night, they're teach teaching you patience, but by the way that they are. And uh, this is something that has to be learned for you by yourself. And patience is the key here regarding this connection because this person, it seems like, your and their vibration is very, who your and their vibration is very different. Meaning that that person sees life from a different perspective than you do. Because I, you might be thinking that you're working really hard towards something and it's not happening. How this person sees life, that they're working towards something, but they enjoy the journey or vice versa. And it's something that you have to learn from this person. Listen to what they say or what they advise you. Um, this pile number three, I feel like it's someone really close to you, it might be a family member or friend. Um, I'm not getting someone as of, I'm not getting a lot of like romantic interest vibes here. This person is also teaching you how to be your own priestess. It says, how are you being called to step up and lead? So this person wants you to get the grip of something, okay? Something that you might be, it's not working out for you and you might, um, the mindset is the problem in pile number three. This person wants you to change your mindset. And uh, maybe you have started doing that before this person came into your life. If you haven't started doing so, this person may be triggering you a little bit where you're like, why are they, why are they always so happy? Or why are they always sad? Mostly happy. So I'm just doing vice versa here, right? Um, why they view it, why there is no problem for this person in life or um, why they taking things um, slowly. And you might notice sometimes that for this person, things are happening in their life 
um, a little bit quicker than for you regarding connections or a job, whatever it is, it's because the way they view life is nine of cups, okay? And that's what they are trying to teach you. And they're trying to teach you how to be strong and they're trying to teach you how not to be a little child over little things, okay? They're trying to teach you how to be more grounded and take a chill pill in order to see all the good things that you have in your life, all the gifts that you already have. And this is very strong here, pile number three. Now, let's get into this romantic, whoever is asking about that um, romantic scenario. This person is teaching you how to walk away from cheaters or tricksters or you know that seven of swords basically um energy here and um this person might have um done something or something happened and i feel like recently guys where you're like you know what i have to actually understand what's my priority in life what i really want to concentrate on because i don't feel like those connections that are not purely honest it's something for me because i have learned now how to pack my bags and go but it wasn't an easy decision to make I'm getting counselor vibes for pile number three. So would you be a counselor for this person? But we're talking about why this person is in your life. So they might be of a counselor of some sorts to you. And this can be not direct. This can be just things that they do where you observe them, observe, observe them and you're like, okay, so that's how this is happening. Or just little sentence or whatever they say. Um, you have to observe the information from this per person, pile number three. They also are trying to teach you how to work smart but not hard for some of you. And how to take a break whenever you need a break. Because if something is not moving in your life, think maybe it's not for you. Maybe there's another way to go about things or that a thing that you are trying to achieve is not on your vibration yet and it might be because of your mindset if your mindset is not in place if your mindset is on a negative side then nothing is gonna move forward for you things are going to be moving forward really really slowly and um, it's also something about the um, I keep getting this for all of these piles though uh, with my intuitive deck it might be something about your living situation where this person is teaching you how to embrace it or this person is teaching you. Now, whoever is in a place where there is someone indoors or around the place where you live that they are a little bit harsh with their words or you had uh, some kind of argument, this person is teaching you how to detach from them, okay? Let me a little bit tune into the past life here and see what kind of connection it was in the past life. Um, what it is that you can take from this reading? In the past life, you were a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you bring in probably some of this in this lifetime too, but you became much stronger regarding the romance now. In the past life, you worked really hard. You have nine of wands. And in this current lifetime, you're working really hard with nine of wands, okay? So what this is telling me is that the lesson you have to learn in this lifetime is how to go about your career in order to make the best out of it. Meaning that maybe there's something you have to change about how you are. Maybe there's something you have to change about... Um, how you plan things out okay it's something about that energy where this person i feel like if they could they could they would want to shake you a little bit uh if we're not talking romantic uh this uh, i'm getting a lot of like why don't you listen to me you know um and this person might have um became a little bit distant with you because of that it feel it's um they might want the best for people, but when it becomes a little bit too much of work, they retreat in order to let these people learn their own lesson, okay? 
and I said they were a treat and look at this they walk away okay because they are really happy person and they are someone who's always you know I have so many dreams I have so many wishes and then when it comes to um, situation when it comes to you there is something that is a little bit um, dark about this whole connection here where there is a lot of light in one place and the other vibration is not as bright okay and then it becomes a little bit difficult to actually uh, communicate all right this person likes to take risks and uh, they would want you to do the same they would want you to understand how to be able to detach from situations uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, this kind of counseling vibe for pile number three. Maybe there are so many things that this person wants to tell you, but because you might be a little bit distant right now, they cannot. Or they said some of those things I told you before in the, in the past. And I feel like for this pile number three, I need to pull my animal tarot deck. Give me a second. And I'm going to give you some... Ooh! Okay, card on the floor. One second. I'll give you some uh, advice or whatever messages will come through. Okay, so we have four of winter and look, it says uh, thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring answers that you seek. So this person, whoever they are, they are kind of teaching you how to... Um, know yourself better and that's the main thing here how to know your deepest um dark spots places what it is that you have to work on and it's not really easy to do so but if you will start meditating or you will start changing your vibration changing your mindset pile number three is going to be very possible and you will be drawing in different people in your life we have uh Look at things in a different way, really. And all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. Change the way you see the world, okay? That's something that they're trying to teach you. Because um, this picture is kind of upside down, right? And that's what you have to concentrate on, guys. Um, wow. Let me see what else. Maybe some of you, um, before meeting this person, maybe your life was a little bit stagnant. Uh, and when this person came in, maybe you thought that they would help you out in one way or another. And it can be... Um, regarding work, it can be regarding advising you, it can be regarding your loneliness, whatever it is, um, this person is in your life in order to say that, you know what, no, it's you yourself who is responsible for these things, I can help you out, but I cannot sort these things for you, because you have to learn how not to be afraid, you have to, fear is a big thing in pile number three and you have to learn how to be more free-spirited and just enjoy life okay don't take things so seriously here this person really wants you to realize that your life is good as it is your life is something that maybe sometimes you don't see it that way and this person is I can nearly hear them screaming, saying, look at all those good things that you have. There is no time to be um, looking back. There is no time to be um, immature about little things or uh, being uh, or moaning about things. That's coming through quite a lot here. There, there will be a time, they are saying, that you will realize that having to work twice as hard or or having two things uh, at the same time to take care of is actually a blessing, not a, not a curse. Because one of those things that you um, carry in your hand is something very precious. The other thing is equally important, but not as precious. Do you understand what I mean here? And this person is trying to make you feel like, hey, you know what, even though you're moving a bit slower than other people, I want you to understand that the slower you me move, meaning that more time you have, more time you have to do um, 
some things that you should supposed to I can't even speak you should um, concentrate on okay you have two um, Knights of Pentacles here. Maybe your life is a little bit like, oh my God, things are dragging, okay? And this person is saying, no, it's actually good for you because that's the time that you have to take the break and just look at this whole situation from a bit different perspective. These, this um, hangman is literally similar like the this giraffe okay and they both are kind of upside down so this person is teaching you quite a lot and i don't think that they do and uh, they are communicating with you that much to counsel you for most of you guys but things that they have said in the past take it into consideration and i just heard take whatever they said as it is and do not interpret it your own way okay because what they said is what they meant and um uh, it goes as well for romantic relationship. What they said, let's say if they said that I don't have enough time or I'm not in a good place or they maybe ghosted for some of you, uh, you, this speaks everything. The silence is also the answer, do you understand? So that's what's happening here, guys. You might feel betrayed if we're talking about romantic um, relationship here by this person because of something, but it's really in order for you to to give you time to kind of understand yourself better because some of you maybe sometimes that you're not sleeping enough or you're overthinking overthinking is the first thing here guys you need to take a break and look at life from this light-hearted perspective okay don't be that serious and don't close yourself off um, enjoy time with other people get into new connections um if if you are being invited somewhere take those invitations uh if this person could tell you this um person in person they would but i feel like they they're saying that this is something that you have to learn by yourself on your own okay i think i have been talking for pile number three for the longest but there are so many more messages i would like to pass you I do not have enough time though for that, but I hope this made sense. So whoever is new, welcome. My tribe, I love you as always. Bye for now.